first thing I think of with Coney Island is a picture of 1928 with my grandparents courting, and my grandfather's wearing like this one-piece black uh, bathing suit, and it was a big, um, big deal for them to come to Coney Island. My family's from New York. Coney Island was the thing. Coney Island was it. We used to come here and pay five cents for a subway. From all over, from Queens, from Manhattan, from the Bronx. We used to come here with a quarter. We were like millionaires. Because all the rides and all the things were about five cents. As a kid, when I was a teenager, we would come here you know, the whole summer, stay at Bay 14. We used to bring food from home. And if we wanted to like, you know, be like uh, rich men, we go sneak, sneak over to Nate and buy a Frankfurter. When you come here, you have to have a hot dog at Nathan's or fried clams or shrimp or something. You can't not eat at Nathan's. It's sacrilegious. Yeah. Last year, we had Leah's birthday party here, and we got a big hot dog, and we stuck candles in it, and that was the birthday cake. How was it? It's a rave review. <laughs> Be blasphemous. Not to eat at Nathan's. Whether you're a vegetarian or you're watching your cholesterol, it doesn't matter. You have to eat a hot dog. Because you got to remember, there was Luna Park. Luna Park is uh, across the street from the cyclone. That was Luna Park. It's the wonder of the world. There's games, there's rides, it's, you know, an amusement park and a beach, and, but it has this urban flavor to it. It's great for the kids. They love it. The rides are all kind of low key, nothing too scary. I like it because it has all the rides. I like to do bumper cars. Um, my favorite is the Ferris wheel. I went on a parachute jump in 1939 in the World's Fair. That was the one that they brought over from the World's Fair to here. And they made that a landmark. You can't knock that down. And, uh, uh, you should go to the beach. And I like the beach because I can go boogie-boarding and swim. We used to sleep on the sand all night long. Hundreds of thousands of people on the beach. Oh, Hundreds of thousands. Years ago. Always, always crowded. You had to walk over the blankets just to get to the water. That's how jammed it used to be. After the war changed. After the Second World War, I'd say Coney Island changed.